Good day, I am Zawel Ashley Pelitero of Balita Mongol. Today, we have the opportunity to interview Mr. Ryan J. Sulaman about the dump card. Sir RJ, could you give us a quick history of the dump card? Okay, good morning, Zaren. So, dump card is really started way back 2010. Started, I developed this one at the Diane Barry School and uh, actually, it was not really the first name of this one is not dog card. It started with S card because it came from the word Scrabble. But one of my friends uh, told me that um, I should not uh, relate it with the Scrabble because of the intellectual property. Then I changed it to B cards. But uh, after some time, with the help of Mom Arlene Matis Ago, uh, she suggested to me we have some collaboration and it boils down to the word dog card. And dog card stands for developing our vocabulary every day. Mm. How did you introduce dog card to our school and community? Okay, so uh, starting with the school, uh, I started with this one by doing it as an remedial instruction. Because I observed during my time, during my teaching years, I've seen that there are a lot of Scrabble board in our school. We always buy both those one using our uh, MOE, but uh, I have seen that no learners are really playing with this one. So I try to develop this one and turn it into a card. Then because of the need of increasing the vocabulary and uh, multiplication for the learners that they will not force to memorize the multiplication table, I introduced the dub card, then after some time, uh, luckily, uh, we documented that one it started as an innovation, then from innovation, it turned into a research. Then after, uh, at Bilongilis Barrio School, uh, we also tried to ask the help of the community. So during the pandemic, uh, the dub card really helped us teachers at Bilongilis Barrio School that uh, even though they are doing it at their homes, and we are still learning by using the dump card. That's amazing, Sir RJ. Good morning po sa ating lahat. Narito po tayo sa remedial na ginagawa namin sa paglalaro ng dog card. At narito po yung mga grade 6 na kung saan ay ginagawa nila ang kanilang paglalaro sa dog card. Tara na at punta natin ang isang grupo na kanilang ginagawa or paano ang paglalaro ng dog card. Sige, lapit na. Okay, sa unang grupo, ito yung innovation namin ngayon na kung saan ay gumagamit na sila ng tablet. Integration of ICT using the playing of dub card. Okay, may we ask one player? Uh, Lebron, paano kayo nagsimula para malaman kung sino yung first player? Ang um, first po ay magbubunutan. Okay. Bubunot po sila sa doon po sa dub card para malaman kung sino yung maunang player. At anong level yung nilalaro ninyo? Level 2 po siya. Okay, level 2. Oh. Level 2 po ang kanilang ginagawa sa kanilang paglalaro ng dub card at ang paglalaro po ng dub card ay meron po itong 20 minutes. Ito naman natin ang traditional yung unang ginawa namin sa paglalaro ng dub card sa paggamit naman sa pagsusulat sa kanilang papel. Punta tayo dito sa isang grupo. Okay. Narito naman ang ikalawang grupo na kung saan ay ginagawa nila ang kanilang dub card. At noong una ay sinusulat lamang nila sa papel. Nakasulat sa papel. Okay. Ganito lang yung pagsulat ng kanilang score. Paano ba ang pag-score sa dub card? O paano natin malalaman ang paglalaro o yung nanalo sa dub card? Tingnan natin ang kanilang score sheet. Sa dub card, meron itong level 1 at saka level 2. Sa level 1, 
ito yung sinasabi nila na kapag yung words or letters ay nabuo ng, ng two cars, yung, ang kanilang score ay multiplied by 1. Kapag three cars multiplied by 2, four cars multiplied by 3, five cars is multiplied by 4, six cars is multiplied by 5, and seven cars is multiplied by 6. At kapag natapos na dito, pagkatapos ng 20 minutes, gagawin na nila ang level 2. Sa level 2 naman, parehas din, 2 cards, 3 cards, 4 cards, 5 cards, 6 cards, at saka 7 cards. Pero dito na, tataas na ang kanilang multiplication ng kanilang score. Meron tayong 6, 2 cards is multiplied by 6, 3 cards multiplied by 7, 4 cards multiplied by 8, 5 cards multiplied by 9, 6 cards multiplied by 10, and 7 cards is multiplied by 11. Nagtataka-ataka tayo kung bakit 7 cards yung katapusan lang or doon lamang yung ginagamit nila. Okay. Narito ang pagpapaliwanag kung bakit 7 cards ang hangganan ng kanilang pag-score. Oh, hello Lara! Ilan ba yung cards na ginagamit sa paglalaro ng dub card? Okay. Kaya ating titignan sa paglalaro ng dub card, Dapat ang bawat player ay meron silang 7 cards. Kaya doon natin nakukuha yung sinasabi natin na multiply by 7 or 6 dahil sa 7 cards. Nakagaya rin sa Scrabble, ginagamit sila or gumagamit sila lamang ng 7 times. Okay? okay. Tingnan natin ang kanilang ipapang mga grupo. Okay. O nandito, tingnan natin ang kanyang score. Hey, hello Minerva, pwede ba na makuha namin ng paano yung pag-score? Sige, lumapit ka lang dito. Okay. okay, narito si Minerva, isang player sa paglalaro sa isang dub card. Minerva, paano ba yung pagkuha ng score? Una, kunin muna ang kabuuang mga numero sa mga letra. Saka ito, isulat. Halimbawa, ito ay 3 plus... <coughs> 1 plus 1 plus 1. Kaya ilan yung kabuuan niya? 6. Six. 6. Multiplied by? 3. 3. Multiplied by 3, ito kasi nasa level 1. At ang total score ay? 18. 18. At isusulat sa hulihan yung salita. That is? Pagkatapos nito, ano yung gagawin, Minerva? Bumunod kong magkano ang nilapag. Okay. Kung ilan? Kung ilan yung? kanyang nilapag doon. Kaya apat yung binaba, apat din yung kukunin. Okay. Okay, thank you Minerva. Okay, Lebron, pwede mo bang ipaliwana kung paano yung pagkuha ng score or pag-score sa level 2? Ang unang po ay bibigyan yung one number so 8, 8 to 8 times 8 kasi yung 4 cards times 8 Okay. Pagkatapos, ilalagay sa ilalagay niya sa tablet. Kaya ganito yung kabuan niya. Okay. Pagkakaroon so, din nga ang paglalaro sa dub card. Meron itong level 1 at saka level 2. Paano naman malalaman kung sino yung nanalo sa isa sa paglalaro ng dub card? Kukunin ang score ng level 1 Pagkatapos, itadagdag ito sa level 2 at kung sino yung may pinaka, uh, pinakamataas na score, siya yung nanalo sa paglalaro ng dub card. At sa paglalaro ng dub card, ay hindi lamang ito nabubuo ang kanilang tinatawag sa galing sa multiplication pero kasama rin ang addition at saka subtraction. Bakit subtraction? Kasi kung ilan ang naiwan na kanilang card, yun ay kanilang ibabawa sa kanilang kabuwang score. At kasama rin dito ang pagbuo ng kanilang vocabulary in English. Na kung yung napansin, lahat ng kanilang bubuoy mga salita ay mga salita sa English na kanilang napag-aralan, nabasa, or nakita kung saan-saan. Kaya, tara na! At palagi maglaro ng dub card na ibig sabihin ay develop our vocabulary everyday. Kaya sabi nga nila, Dub card activate. Sir RJ, any parting words to our viewers? Okay, so uh, 
As for me, I could say that uh, love cards really have a lot. So I have written some notes here because it's a lot. So first one, the love card really uh, introduced partnership. That uh, with the help of the uh, stakeholders and also some non-government organization, we already established the first love card tournament and that was in uh, Billing Willis Bar School where I was uh, previously stationed. And next one is also is gender equality. That uh, with the use of the dark card, it uh, it tries not only to uh, uh, eliminate what we call discrimination between when you play the dark card. It does not mean mean that it should only for the girls, but it should not only for the boys. But all of the learners are also involved, and it promotes equality and likewise leadership because. Uh, opportunity in playing dog card, the learners try to, uh, uh, we have what we call as collaborative, that it would be a team event for this dog card. So leadership is being formed and it is unlocked only for the boys but also for the girls. Now also is quality of education. With the dog card, with the use of this dog card, I said a while ago that during the pandemic, we uh, provided avenue for learners to use dub cards to enhance their literacy and numeracy. As you have known, Zarin, of course, I know you have been playing the dub card, and it is not only doing with multiplication, but we have addition and subtraction, and likewise with the words in English. So, another one is also that dub cards also as is a joint partnership with school, community, that ensures that uh, we are already starting here at Lombo Elementary School that uh, the every uh, community or they will be clustered and dub card will be provided so that to that community. And also dub card was also utilized in selecting those who would be the under the ESP project. I know you you have not heard this one first uh, Zanen, but this uh, Friday we will be, uh, initially, or we'll be launching already our ESP program for a school, that there will be selected individuals that we will be a part of this one is through the promotion of the dub card. To those who will be selected, they will be the one to, pro to be promoting dub card in their community. And those who will be selected for the ESP project, it is like the Salakni and Namnama of our division or, or in our region that uh, this dog card will pay the learners to teach their parents and also with their neighbors and also as well as their community that to those learners under the ESP project will be entitled or will be selected for the sponsorship so I do hope that this dog card in, uh, will only not be benefiting our school here in Longboy and uh, just to give and uh, say thank you also to my colleagues last time because dub card is already introduced in Tublai we have already it is also introduced in uh, Quirino and also in Cervantes and uh, uh, we will also be having a partnership with uh, with my colleague or my classmate way back at college from Mangkayan so I do hope that Will dub card will be established and will be used that in every home they will be all be having also a game aside from chess, scrabble, what you call that one, snake in ladders. But there will also be a dub card in every home that that is what I envision for. So that's it. It was truly a helpful intervention for our learners as well as our community. I could really say, Dove Card is a promising tool. It develops numeracy and literacy of every individual. I do hope that this Dove Card could reach more learners in our country. This is Zaran Ashley Pilitero, your student reporter of Balita Mongoy. Okay, thank you so much, Zaran, for that interview.